Well, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing the class of 2022. This past year, we demanded a lot of this group. We demanded that they pull a topic out of a hat and then switch to looking for it under a do-rag, only to realize that it was actually in their back pocket. We demanded that they jump on a bus going somewhere to visit someone who might or might not say exactly what they needed to hear, but never imagined it was possible to hear it just that way. We demanded that they forge for facts in and out of the classroom, and especially while walking their dog or shopping the blues away on Saturdays, of course. We demanded that they ponder after revising a solicitation email more times than anyone has ever missed the G train, why a major CEO hasn't responded to their request for an interview. We demanded that they find their writing voice, uh, activate their verbs and cite sources while painting the entire story on the head of a pin. Although in truth, this crew has hoarded so much research it would fill the Museum of Modern Art. Class of 2022, now that you are bona fide design researchers and critics, and in only 30 weeks, no less, how do you feel? What? I'm awake. Louder. <laughs> All right, a round of applause for these folks. All right, who are you about to meet? An artist who loves places, an architect who has managed pop stars, an art historian invested in community art practice, a thinker who can't help but redesign design, a graphic designer who has a serious political itch, and a theater director who loves to spice up tradition if you t feel tempted to get to know this crew, just wait until they speak for themselves. One thing about me, I obsess about words. So much of the work we do as design research and critics is choosing words. Consider tonight's title, Strategies, right there on the screen. Strange, isn't it? Let me emphasize that for you. Strata, geez. A known word has been pulled apart just enough for us to see how it is put together. Look at the hyphen and the spaces it creates. It may seem like a foreign object, something only a designer would do. However, we learn from a practice like etymology which is looking up the history of a word, that the foreign object in language is already there, holding things together. And in this case, that object has been pulled out into the open. Archaeologists call this rupture. Say, when you dig a hole and yank an object to the surface out from a historical cocoon, out from its strata. You didn't know the object was there, but it was. And now you have to tell stories about it. You have to make sense of it. This is design research. It pries open the surface of everyday life and divines meaning in pieces and parts. How did we get here, design research asks. Who got us here? What is here made of? And what can here mean? The foreign object that surfaces through design research tickles and tangles our easy sense of progress. Our bearings flicker. Are we headed in the right direction as a society, as an individual, as a planet? We can reorient ourselves if we want to. 
the best design research is archaeology in reverse. It's an opportunity. Strategies is how to frame the present as a question for the future. Let me warn you, tonight is just a reconnaissance trip because each of these graduating researchers has built a world that would take days to explore. Now, I know the seats are plush and the air conditioning is on, but don't get too comfortable. This crew is heading somewhere, and count yourself lucky to be along for the ride, at least for tonight. Congratulations. <laughs>